Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Chinese New Year's is right around the corner and so I thought I would create this really cute Chinese lantern ornament. Now this is actually made out of some leftover plastic balls that I had at Christmas time and I thought that I could repurpose it for a Chinese New Year's craft and I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. I'm calling this my Oriental Trading Project because I did get a good number of these supplies from Oriental Trading. This is a gold mylar tape. I'm also going to be using a pipe cleaner, scissors, and this is a Christmas ball that I got from Oriental Trading and it opens up and so it is a two-piece Christmas ball and this is what I'm going to be using for my base. I have some 1 8 ribbon, in this case I'm going to be using red. I've got gold beads, gold pony beads, and then I also have these little Chinese coins. These are really important. I have black pony beads, red pony beads, and then I have some red crinkle paper. Now if you can't find red crinkle paper, you could also use red tissue paper. So to begin, I'm just going to measure out about nine inches of ribbon, snip it, and I'm going to take one of my little coins here, slide it through, and tie it off. And I've given myself enough extra here that it's not going to be hard to tie this off. If you have big fingers like I do, if you have nice tiny little fingers, you won't have these problems. <laughs> now, trim that, and then you're going to take your beads. I've got a black bead, slide that on, then a red bead, slide that on, and then a gold bead, and slide that on. There you go. Now, you can take this little end and just tuck it up into your black bead right there. If you want to, you can add a little drop of hot glue or glue to keep that in place if you want to. Now, I am going to put an extra bead in here, and this is going to be a black bead. And I'm just going to, it doesn't have to be a black bead, but I'm going to use a black bead. And thread it through. That's going to be the middle bead that is going to actually go up and into your, um, up into here to hold it in place. And so this bead is not going to be in your configuration of um, pretty beads here. This is your, this is what I call the pivot bead. This is the bead that's going to hold all the ribbon and all of the danglies. So you just need one of those. Okay, now I'm going to come back with my gold bead and my red bead and my black bead. Now here's the thing, you can do this pattern any way you like. I just thought it was pretty to have the gold on top. All right, now, here's where you wanna figure out how long you wanna make this dangly. I like, to, I like to make my danglies off center, like I don't like them all to be exactly the same, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit extra here on one side. And so then I take my coin and just tie it off. Now here's the thing. You can do as many of these as you like. If you want to do four, if you want to do three, it's up to you. So if you wanted to do um, three danglies, that would give you six all total. If you wanted to do four, that would give you eight. I like to do two, so it's just giving me four danglies. But that's all you got to do is just tie that off there. Once again, snip that, and you would bring this down. Now. Once you've got this all done, you can see you can adjust these any way you want to. And you'll be able to do that all the way up till the end. Now I would add my second one, my third one, my fourth one, so that it ends up looking like this. And you can see what I mean about having them at different variations. And I like them at the different variations. Okay, now we're gonna get into the ball part here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this fun, crinkly paper and put it inside. Okay, just like that. Then take this little guy, take that little bead and do it on the opposite side of the hanger part. So you just lay that right in there like that. Take a little bit more of your crinkle paper, put it on top, and then close it up. And as you're doing so, try to get that crinkle paper in. Just pushing it in there. The more crinkle paper you get kind of pushing out and in, it makes it 
really look good. So get it in there and then close her up. And see that locks those little beads down in there. So now you don't even have to worry about them. They're all in there safe and secure. Now, the final stage is to decorate it with this beautiful tape. Now it's up to you if you want to do six or four. But one thing I like to do is I like to start at my top here and come down along the seam. And then when I get to the ribbon, I just cut it off there. Then go over to the other side. And what's nice about this tape is that you can cut it, layer it on top of itself, and it smooths into itself so you don't even see it. And there we go. Now, this is where I say if you want to do four, you would just come in the middle, directly in line with the hanger, and come down. But if you want to do six, you slightly angle out like a piece of pie. Think like pizza. Right? So I'm just going to do a foursome here. So I'm just going to go one right there, come on down. This uh, mylar tape is really great because it's very, very, very flexible. And the other thing that's great about it is you can pick it up and place it, and it smooths down really nice. It's very forgiving tape. It's a very thin tape, but it actually has a lot of uh, strength to it. So you can actually pull on it pretty well. There we go. Just pull that down. Oh, that was almost perfect there. There you go. Now, the last step is just to take that pipe cleaner, run it through the holder opening up there. So you just pull it through, loop it around, give it a little secure by wrapping around and snip off the extra. And now you've got your Chinese lantern. And that's all there is to creating your very own Chinese lantern. Now remember, you can do it with six strips or with four. You can do it with tissue paper or with crinkle paper. It's up to you. Both are beautiful. For more fun things that you can make for Chinese New Year's and other events, come and check us out, sophie-world.com.